the trigger button, it'll start playing back the animation that we just created. Let's set up this project to save auto position movement frames when I press the trigger on the Wii Remote. Here is my auto position configured for the InMove. Each servo is set up for the head, arms, and fingers. I have the Virtual Reality Robot plugin configured to move the head servos. Two Wii Motes have been added with the respective controls for left and right arms. The left arm X axis is configured to move multiple servos. Same with the left arm Y axis will move multiple servos. Let's configure the trigger on the Wiimote to save the current servo positions to a new frame in the auto position. Use the cheat sheet to find the commands. Because the in-move servos are slow, we'll add a pause command to the action for three seconds after each movement. We'll configure the right Wiimote trigger to play back the auto position action. We'll now configure the minus button on the Wiimote to delete the action so we can recreate the animation on demand. To test this, I'll push the left Wiimote trigger three times and we'll see three frames added to the auto position. Under actions, we'll see those frames added, as well our three second pause commands. Now let's press the minus button on the right Wiimote and see the frames and actions have been deleted. All right, let's test it out. Put the headset on. All right, grab the controllers here. Make sure I got the right ones. You do? Okay. So, go over here first. And when I push the trigger button on this one, it'll start playing back the animation that we just created.